Retina Rounds, episode number 68, Staining and Peeling ILM Under Perfluorocarbon Liquid. In today's video, guest surgeon Dr. Mayank Bonsal shows us a helpful technique for staining ILM under PFCL. He then demonstrates peeling of ILM under PFCL in cases of macular hole and PVR-associated retinal detachments. Thank you, Dr. Bonsal, for sharing these cases. So here's our first case. This is a patient who has a PVR-associated retinal detachment. You can see that the retina is in a near closed funnel configuration, and the vitreous appears um, somewhat stiff. Uh, certainly the retina has uh, fixed folds, and now a core vitrectomy is being performed with the uh, vitreous being trimmed towards a temporal retinal break. Dr. Bonsal is going to trim the vitreous here over the break and amputate uh, the flap. Now using ILM forceps, the, uh, some preretinal membranes are attempted to be peeled. However, Dr. Bonsal has opted to instill some perfluorocarbon liquid over this detached retina to stabilize it and make it a little bit easier to pre uh, peel these preretinal membranes. Now going back to the ILM forceps, very gently Dr. Bonsal is engaging these preretinal membranes and then lifting them up away from the retinal surface and then peeling in a posterior to anterior fashion. Another area here in the temporal retina that's being uh, that's being peeled. So now uh, Dr. Bonsal is going to perform ILM peeling uh, and a drop-on lens is, uh, is placed. Tissue blue now is being instilled underneath the PFCL bubble directly over the macular surface. So dripping that, that uh, tissue blue right at the interface between the PFCL bubble uh, and the macular surface. And this, this staining happens near instantaneously, so no need to wait uh, for uh, 30 seconds to a minute as would tr traditionally be done to stain uh, ILM. The, PF the um, a tissue blue can be dripped directly over the, uh, the uh, macular surface with PFCL in the eye and the ILM peeling can take place. Now you can see an air fluid exchange being performed through that temporal retinal break and you can see how nice and flat that retina looks under air. Here's another case of a PVR associated retinal detachment. Dr. Bonsal again is going to start with a core vitrectomy uh, and, um, and then once, that, uh, once the vitrectomy has been performed, the core vitrectomy has perform, been performed, ILM forceps are being used to strip these uh, preretinal membranes, these pigmented preretinal membranes from the retinal surface. Now he's uh, engaging a more posterior membrane. This actually looks to be uh, a mixture of PVR and posterior hyaloid and that's being elevated up roughly to the level of the posterior vitreous base. Now perfl uh, perfluorocarbon liquid is used to stabilize the posterior pole. And again, tissue blue is going to be used to stain the ILM. Now uh, peeling ILM in cases of uh, PVR detachments can decrease the risk of post-operative uh, ERM formation. Uh, and you can see here, rather than taking down the PFCL to stain the ILM, the tissue blue is used uh, directly underneath the PFCL bubble over the macular surface, have a nice, uh, nice stain of ILM and now using a pinch and peel technique, the ILM is peeled underneath the uh, PFCL bubble. And that's gonna be carried around circumferentially. Uh, and um, the advantage here of, of, of not having to take down the PFCL bubble is that it, it does make the surgery more efficient. It certainly is a much quicker stain of the ILM. Here's a case of a retinal detachment associated with a macular hole. And you can see here that there's this peripheral retinal break uh, around which the vitreous is being trimmed and a fluid-fluid exchange is being performed through this inferior retinal break to try to decrease the bullous nature of the retina. And you can see here the macular hole, uh, perfluorocarbon liquid is being instilled over the posterior pole to flatten uh, the retina. And this makes ILM peeling much easier in detached retina since uh, detached retina uh, lacks counter-traction and engaging and lifting the ILM can be more difficult using the PFCL can help to stabilize it. Uh, and again, using tissue blue uh, to uh, directly stain uh, the ILM. You can notice that in some cases, if the, if the soft tip cannula that's being used to instill the tissue blue is uh, not close enough to the retinal surface, that tissue blue goes to the surface of the PFCL bubble or gets uh, uh, tra trapped at the edge of the PFCL bubble. So you do wanna make sure that this is being administered right at the interface between the PFCL and the macular surface. And uh, now Dr. Uh, Bonsal is performing, a, again, a pinch and peel technique to engage the ILM and is using an inverted ILM technique to try to close this macular hole. Once those leaflets of the ILM are placed over the hole, uh, the ILM peeling is extended more peripherally. Here's another case of a macular hole-associated retinal detachment. 
can see some attempts are being made to try to uh, peel either an ERM or per perhaps the ILM from the macular surface when the macula is detached. Uh, and now Dr. Bonsell has transitioned to uh, putting in some perfluorocarbon liquid to stabilize the posterior pole. Again, uh, tissue blue is being uh, injected here with a soft tip cannula uh, directly over the macular surface between the interface of the PFCL bubble and the macula. Uh, and uh, that stain is going to be uh, near instantaneous. Uh, and using a pinch and peel technique, uh, the ILM, uh, peripheral ILM strip is being created and uh, an inverted ILM technique is going to be used again here to try to close this macular hole. Uh, you can see that the, the nice counter traction that the PFCL uh, affords the surgeon here uh, so that the, uh, the underlying macula is not as mobile, uh, making elevation of a tightly adherent ILM a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. So here are your take home points. Peeling ILM when the retina is detached may be necessary uh, in cases of macular hole associated retinal detachments and in cases of PVR associated retinal detachments where peeling of the ILM over the macula may decrease the risk of postoperative ERM formation. Peeling ILM when the macula is detached can be quite challenging due to the lack of underlying counter traction. And on the other hand, use of PFCL to stabilize detached macula can make ILM peeling easier. In the cases presented here, Dr. Bonsell shares an efficient technique of directly staining the ILM under PFCL by dripping tissue blue directly over the macula and under the PFCL bubble. And this has a number of advantages, including uh, a very effective and near instantaneous staining of the ILM. Uh, also, a much smaller volume of dye needs to be used to achieve, achieve a good ILM stain. Again, we want to thank Dr. Bonsell for sharing these cases. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out Dr. Bonsell's website and YouTube channel to see more of his videos. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed this video, please visit us at retinarounds.com. There you can sign up for our email list. You'll get a notification every time a new video is posted. And if you have an interesting video or a tip or trick that you'd like to share, please follow the links on our website and you can upload your video there. Thanks so much for watching.